and quite a few cars back there stacked up. This is what I was estimating 160. And that's the tough thing, one of the tough things, you know, about uh, assessing all this. You got cars getting thrown and all this stuff, and it'd be easy to just uh, uh, maybe throw a, a higher rating. I had EF3 on both of these. Matter of fact, I think somebody's asking about uh, Camp Creek uh, started out as a two and then got elevated to a three. That's when I went back and talked to the people that own that brick house and, and uh, found out a little bit more about it structurally. But uh, um, you got the man-made things that are, that are messed up and, and uh, you, sometimes you got conflicting information about uh, uh, what happens to a, a house or maybe even a school or this or that and the trees. You may be having something that looks like uh, on the same property even an EF1 from one indicator and an EF3 or 4 or something. So just do our best scientific judgment of uh, where to rate things. And you see the uh, all kinds of damage in here, but the trees are not that, you know, it's not like F5, EF5 kind of thing that's just absolutely scouring everything. So, uh, okay. Then Glade Spring, and I talked about the truck stop that, uh, the story that got wiped out. Well, there it is, not wiped out. As a matter of fact, ran in there and used the restroom. So, uh, and here it is again. Uh, it did get crunched by a semi. This is a huge truck stop. Uh, one semi got thrown into the side of the restaurant um, right here. It got crunched into the side of the restaurant and then rolled back off. And uh, you can see all the trucks lined up back here. There's the truck and the crunched part of the restaurant. And three fatalities. Uh, Three fatalities at this uh, truck stop, and another view of the restaurant. And one more view of the truck. Wow, like this. And then this was Thursday evening by the time I got there, so uh, I guess like 20 hours after the event. Is, this is like one in the morning by the time I got up there. And uh, you can see how huge of a truck stop it is. There's the restaurant and main part of the truck stop. A lot of damage. Fortunately for this one, I had some really good aerial views, aerial uh, views of this. I haven't seen much of any from Greene County yet. This is really telling. Look at uh, all the trees down. Not every tree, but uh, a lot of them just smack down flat. Road sign that got uh, pushed on the side there. Then, uh, then I came back. That was Thursday, and the guys from uh, West Virginia, Ohio, came back down and surveyed that whole path. They just dove right into the worst part of it. Once again, trying to get our arms around it. Okay. Um, now, Howard's. I'll uh, see if you want to say a few words in just a minute. I'll show. Uh, this is the EF4. Uh, started out as an EF3, but. Uh, the more information we got about it, it was uh, incredible itself. So uh, let me just show these images real quickly. I'll let you talk about it. Uh, first couple things, there's a lot of hail damage. I don't even know if people know about it. But there, there are thousands of houses like this with the uh, siding just bashed in on if one or two sides, windows bashed. There's a car. Uh, airport motor mile <laughs> just got absolutely hammered. Got <laughs> there you go. Here's uh, a go. Lake Chilhowie. Let me just go through these and I'll uh, hopefully you can make out how messed up the hillside is there. The aerial view. See the path. It's probably more distinctive now that, uh, well, this is a couple, yeah, a couple weeks after. Weeks ago and it doesn't look that much more distinctive. Okay. So anyway, that's uh, that's those slides. I'll turn it over to Howard for uh, his reflections on the stuff that he saw.